fourth inning from the Steel Yard in Gary, Indiana. Locked in a good one. Cleburne and Gary South Shore tied at zero. Brian Saucedo's out there making his first railroader start. Pitching well, but he's falling behind Wilfredo Jimenez 3-0. and oh. He's going to try a little get-me-over fastball here, and Jimenez hits it a long way to left field. Appears to hit off the very top of the wall, and Nick Rotola plays this perfectly. On one bounce, into second base, and plenty of time to get Jimenez, and Brian Saucedo is angry. Uh, My best guess, he's upset with Jimenez uh, for not running hard out of the box. I'm not quite sure, but those two exchange Christmas card information, uh, off-season plans, and and everyone wants to get involved in this. It's kind of your typical baseball benches clearing thing where everyone runs out of the dugout and no one's quite sure why they're there or what's going on but cooler heads prevail pretty quickly on this thing and uh, eventually uh, this crowd on the field gets dispersed back to their respective dugouts as all this is happening on the field between the teams the umpiring crew gets together in the middle of the diamond and they start to discuss that last play. Was it a home run? Did that ball clear the fence in left field and hit something beyond the wall? Or what exactly happened? So they talk it over amongst themselves for a minute and then eventually go over and talk it over with Brent Cleveland, the Railroaders manager. One of my favorite parts of this entire sequence is John Nestor, who is hanging out near home plate, and he's just going to kind of mosey on over like a cat burglar to get an ear in this conversation but eventually the umpires do decide that it is a home run that the ball cleared the left field fence they they deem that it hit something beyond the fence and bounced back into play Uh, let's take a quick detour here and go into everyone's favorite part of the show ground rules at the steel yard time so the U.S. Steel Yard has kind of an interesting fence in that it's got two tiers. You've got this lower padded wall. It's like, I don't know, 12 to 15 feet high. And then right above that is a chain link fence that you can see here with this yellow bar at the very top of it that constitutes the, the furthest reaches of in play. So anything that goes over that yellow line is a home run. Anything that hits below that is in play. So the umpires felt as though that ball hit something beyond the top of the chain link fence, beyond that yellow line, and then bounced back over the fence into the field of play. The the railroaders aren't happy about this, but what's great is they make Wilfredo Jimenez come out of the dugout and they make him run around the bases again to complete the home run because he didn't touch all of the bases officially. And while Wilfredo is circling the bases Brent Cleveland is walking out to left field because he wants to look himself at what the umpires are claiming regarding that fence and so there is a lot going on here but my favorite part of all this is at the very end when the Railroaders players are kind of protesting their cause you've got Daniel Robertson and Zach Narrier saying come on get it right and Chase Simpson is like what kind of clouds are those Are those cumulonimbus or cirrostratus? I used to know this, I swear. Anyway, Gary goes on to win the game 7-0, so it doesn't turn out to be a particularly important play in the game, but no doubt about it, one of the weirdest plays that we saw all year.